Swindon has long been associated with technological innovation and engineering and today marks another important milestone. Now the hydrogen refuelling station here at Honda at South Marston has been here for a couple of years but today it is now generated not from the national grid but from solar panels behind here and the business community have been invited to take a look at alternative ways of powering their vehicles. Well this facility builds on the existing facility we deployed in Swindon back in 2011. Um, in 2011 it was a collaboration between BOC Honda and Forward Swindon and it was this region's sort of pioneering spirit and their willingness to adopt new technologies like this which really made them stand out from the crowd. Working with people like the, um, the Forward Swindon Economic Development Company, you know, we're seeing now that actually this is the right place for us um, and that this facility will actually expand and grow because in this region here it's a hotbed for technology, it's a hotbed for distribution centres and they're our prime target customers for hydrogen. The first station in the UK to be able to actually produce hydrogen renewably from solar power on a commercial scale, this is game changing. What we wanted to do was move to a much more sustainable delivery model and the opportunity to work with hydrogen has been really, really exciting. Working with this excellent consortium has enabled us to deliver our products to our customers using low emission fuels from this hydrogen filling station. Swindon's got a great history in engineering because of its long history with the railways and all the things that have been going on for such a long time. And engineering has moved on to such a great new space with innovation in renewables, in new technologies. And so it's absolutely right that Swindon is showing leadership in hydrogen technology, in the use of solar power to run vehicles. It's amazing. We're now able to run cars and vans on sunlight and water. If you can improve the environment um, just as a driver, let alone everyone else doing their, uh, their bit for, for the environment, um, and it's the way forward. I've been driving this uh, vehicle for about two years now. It's no different from a regular vehicle. Well, this particular project is really important to Innovate UK. Um, the reason for that is that it absolutely perfectly exemplifies what we were trying to do with this funding, which is to show the integration of different parts of the system, so generating renewable electricity, generating hydrogen, using it on site to refuel vehicles, but also to power the education centre so it really pulls together the integration of the different parts of the system and all the effort that's gone into it I think has really paid off. Partnership is what Swindon is all about uh, both in the public and the private sectors and across the voluntary sectors so uh, I think if you want to achieve anything in the modern world you've got to do it through partnership uh, we, we've got a good track record of working with businesses to bring them in uh, we're delighted to work with anybody who wants to do business in Swindon uh, and of course um, the council has shown its commitment to this project by converting a number of its own vehicles to hydrogen. For Honda it's very important to be involved in such kind of projects because we are focusing on hydrogen as one of the ultimate solutions in transportation and this station here has also been connected to the Honda of the UK manufacturing. That is uh, sensational because we are now using this green hydrogen supply machines like forklifts for example. We have a pipeline which is going from here from this station into the factory and there we have an in-house or indoor dispenser where we can charge the um, forklifts. That's a perfect way how you produce cars. It's really good that Swindon's on the map and this this hydrogen fueling facility here in Honda is, is was the first and it's clearly one of the few current uh, facilities that are available in, in the country. So it's no question about it, Swindon is well placed to take advantage of these developments as they become commercially viable. The Education Centre is here to bring all these strands together so that provide a meeting place for visitors to come, to provide somewhere to have the education harnessed. So we will hopefully have input data on the screens in a live, real way, showing what's happening with the centre from the point of view of the fuel that's being used, how many trucks are going through, and, and any, anything we can capture as a learning data. It is unique, it, it is completely self-sufficient, it can run completely without the grid. It's designed to take hydrogen in, convert it into stored energy, into batteries, and those batteries will power the building. And it will provide a bit of heat for the building, and it will utilise all of the, the, the sustainability of hydrogen to do so. I'm really excited about it, really excited to see all these wonderful logos together on the education centre and on the refuelling hoarding as well. It really has been a wonderful project for everybody. So could this be the future? Could we be filling up our cars with hydrogen? Well, it's green, it's sustainable, and it's already here in Swindon.